and welcome back to FD. As we have seen many teams rebuild their squads this transfer window across Europe, we're going to give you 10 of the craziest transfer sprees in recent history. A year on from the departure of possibly their greatest player Cristiano Ronaldo, Real Madrid have been forced to return to their Galactico ways after spending just 162 million euros last year on eight players. Relying on Gareth Bale and Benzema proved to be an error with the former contributing just eight goals last term. But now with Perez swallowing his pride and hiring Zidane back, they entered the 2090 window with their old game plan. At the time of writing, Real have spent treble that of last year with a total expense of 303 million euros. 100 million bagged them Eden Hazard from Chelsea, while 60 million euros got them Frankfurt forward Luka Jovic. The pair contributed to 53 league goals in total last season, more than Gareth Bell, Benzema, Isco and Vinicius Jr. They also strengthened their back line, seeing as the likes of Marcelo and Sergio Ramos are reaching the latter stages of their careers. They acquired highly rated 21-year-old centre-back Edo Militao and Ferland Mendy for a combined 98 million euros. Although they reluctantly kept Bale on their books, they managed to recoup 150 million euros, selling on Kovacic, Marcos Llorente and Theo Hernandez. Although they missed out on their long-term target Paul Pogba, Florentino Perez will be happy with his club's dealings, and now as Zidane settled, Real Madrid entered the 1920 seasons on much better grounds than the previous campaign. They will be hoping their new recruits will bring them back to domestic and European dominance since 2017. Before we move on, make sure you press our notification button so you're kept up to date with all our latest videos. 9. Aston Villa Aston Villa are back in the top flight after a three-year absence and with their transfer activity, it's quite clear that they are trying to stay clear of the relegation zone. Boyhood fan Dean Smith has been very busy this summer. After losing top goalscorer Tammy Abraham to his parent club Chelsea, the Midlands club acted quickly. Not only have they added reinforcements within the whole squad with 11 new signings, including Tom Heaton and Douglas Louise, they smashed their transfer record, signing Wesley from Club Bruges for £22 million. In 2016, then-owner Randy Lerner, former owner of the NFL's Cleveland Browns, sold the club to Chinese businessman Tony Sia. After two seasons of failing to get promoted to the Premier League, the finances at Villa were in such a bad state that they were threatened with a winding-up order from the tax collectors in England. Tony Sia somehow found savers in the club in the form of Nasef Soriris, Egypt's richest man according to Forbes, and Wes Eden who's also the owner of NBA team Milwaukee Bucks. This now makes the Midlands club owner the third richest owners in world football. Villa have spent a whopping £146 million this summer and although they have had comparisons to Fulham last year, who spent a similar amount last summer and still got relegated, Dean Smith will be hoping the same thing doesn't happen to his side. 8. Juventus After signing Cristiano Ronaldo, Juventus fans thought that signing Mr Champions League would end their European trophy drought as he has won three of the last four, but they were wrong. After being knocked out by Ajax in the quarterfinals, the Italian side took it to a different level in the transfer window. Through the sales of non-first team players, Juve have recouped 201 million euros and at the time of writing they have spent 188, making a profit of 13 million euros. Although this may seem small, it indicates the great business done by the old lady, who are known for smart savings during these windows. So far this summer, we've seen the Bayern Canary bring in five elite players including arguably the best under-21 centre-back in Europe, the licked for 85 million euros. Luca Pellegrini, Serie A legend Buffon, Aaron Ramsey and Adrian Rabio also joined the Italian Giants for a combined 22 million euros. After a torrid half season being shunned by PSG, Rabio, who recently turned 24, joined the Turin side on a free, signing a four year deal for 150,000 euros. This will cost his new club 7 million euros a year, 53 million less than what his rumoured fee would have cost a year ago. And he's not the only player the Serie A champions have brought in for nothing. Ex Arsenal midfielder Aaron Ramsey has also joined the club on a free after spending 11 years in London, in which he won three FA Cups. With Maurizio Sarri taking over Allegri ahead of the new campaign, the Europa League winner will be optimistic with his fresh squad and would be hoping to bring the old lady the Champions League trophy they long for. 7. Arsenal after a terrible end to the season which saw them finish outside the top four for the third consecutive year and embarrassingly losing 4-1 in the Europa League final to Chelsea, Arsenal faithful's lack of hope for the upcoming season was completely understandable. And to make matters worse, rumours of a £40 million budget for their summer spending was being reported, which led to Arsenal support groups urging the club directors to fund a squad overhaul. However, Stan Kroenke had other ideas. Branded as a stingy club owner, supporters were surprised as the club splashed out on over £100 million in a number of big signings, including Ivory Coast winger Nicolas Pepe, Scotland fullback Kieran Tierney, and Chelsea's Brazilian centre back David Luiz. 
This is the most they have ever spent in a summer transfer window in their history. Josh Kroenke, the son of club owner Stan, said that the disappointment in Baku was the spark that led to the Gunners being one of the Premier League's biggest spenders this summer. Not only have they spent big, but they have also got rid of a lot of dead weight. Injury-prone Welbeck was released to Watford on a free, and Lichtenstein, R. Jenkinson, Peter Cech and former captain Koscielny were also released. With this being their best transfer window in recent years, this could be the first year they challenged for the title for the first time since they last won it 15 years ago. 6. Everton Farhad Moshri bought 49.9% of Everton's shares back in 2016, which has now increased to 77%, and the club has now gone from comfortably a top 10 side to top 6 contenders. At the time of writing, the Iranian owner spent over £400 million on transfers for the Merseyside club. The summer of 2017 is where Moshri really made his mark. After losing marksman Lukaku to Manchester United for £76 million, eyebrows were raised as where his replacement would come from. No Evertonian expected what happened next. The club went on to break their transfer record twice after signing Sigurdsson for £45 million and Jordan Pickford for 30. They also brought in Michael Keane, David Klassen and Morgan Schneiderlin. With the signings of 11 players which included Wayne Rooney as part of the Lukaku deal, manager Ronald Koeman would have been excited about the upcoming season. Unfortunately, the season didn't go quite as planned as the Toffees finished in an underwhelming 8th place, conceding 58 goals, the worst out of the top 10, which ultimately cost the Dutch manager his job. None of their new signers made the impact expected, especially their most expensive player, Sigurdsson. He only managed to score six goals and record five assists. A season later, with Marco Silva in charge and a similar transfer strategy that saw them spend £89 million, they still only managed to finish eighth. Moshri will be hoping this season will see the Toffees finally break into the top six. Five. AC Milan In 2017, Italian giants AC Milan were on a mission to return back to their glory days after failing to win the league since 2011 and the Champions League since 2007. Chinese consortium acquired 99.93% stake in the seven-time Champions of Europe in April 2017 and the new chairman Yong Hong Lee promised to restore the San Siro side. Although they have finished sixth in the 16-17 campaign, returning to European football for the first time in three years, it was clear the young Milan side was in need of investment. They wasted no time in the summer window spending more than £160 million on 10 new faces, becoming the second most expensive overhaul at the time behind Real Madrid's record-breaking £295 million remodelling in 2009. The Rossoneri acquired the services of Leonardo Bonucci from Juve, Andre Silva from Porto and highly rated Kessi. Surprising moves included Fabio Barini from Sunderland. Although it seemed like a recipe for success, it landed them in the exact same position as the season before when they spent just £25 million, a disappointing sixth place. With a mixture of youth and experience, this was quite surprising. However, it did not stop them spending the season after where they spent over £100 million again. Maybe it's time for the Italian side to try a different method if they are going to return back to their glory days. 4. Fulham after being promoted to the Premier League, Fulham were adamant on retaining their Premier League status and owner Saheed Khan backed this intent with his wallet in the summer transfer window. The billionaire owner spent £104 million on 12 new faces to bolster their squad. At the time, it seemed like they were on the right path, with the likes of Jean-Michel Serri, who nearly signed for Barcelona, joining the club, and former Premier League and World Cup winner André Schoeller also followed that Ivorian to the cottage. Alexander Mitrovic, who was no stranger to the Premier League, also signed, and they completed smart loan moves, with Callum Chambers and Fosu Mensah joining the Whites. With a great mixture of youth, experience and depth, it seemed like a recipe for success. But they were wrong, and after just 11 games found themselves rock bottom of the Premier League. Although they did not finish there, they didn't manage to leave the relegation zone, and even the appointment of Leicester legend Claudio Ranieri couldn't lift the Whites. They conceded the most goals in the league with 81, and for a team that brought a lot of defensive cover in the summer, that number was very worrying. Fulham vice chairman Tony Khan has since said he holds himself accountable for the club's unsuccessful recruitment last summer, which led them to relegation. The Cottage faithful will be hoping that a new strategy will see them make a speedy return to the English top flight. 3. Monaco Monaco returned back to League 1 in 2013 after their shock relegation in 2011 and was going to start the new campaign with minus two points following crowd troubles at the end of the 12-13 season. Though they knew the best way to show their intent for the season was in the summer transfer window. New owner Dmitry Robolovlev took over the club for a symbolic €1 Euro in 2011 but had the commitment to invest at least €100 million Euros into the club in the next four years. In the summer of 2013, the Russian owner became one of the world's biggest spenders in Europe. 
spending £146 million on players including Radamel Falcao, James Rodriguez and Moutinho, and they were even able to get Ricardo Carvalho and Eric Abadal free transfers. Although the spending spree meant their expectations were much higher, the Monagas club had a great season, finishing in second place behind Parisian giants PSG and reached the semi-finals of the Coupe de France. Even though they finished that season trophyless, it set them up for a successful next few years. Not only did they win the league three years later, their transfer strategy saw them bring through some of the best talents in world football, including Anthony Martial, Thomas Lamar and of course Kylian Mbappe. 2. Atletico Madrid Last campaign, Atletico Madrid's season ended in disappointment. After failing to mount a real challenge for La Liga and exiting the Champions League after a disastrous second leg against Juventus. Now heading into the new season, you'd think that things couldn't get worse. But they did. The club confirmed that they would be releasing club legends Juan Fran and Diego Godin on free transfers after failing to reach a new contract agreement with the defenders. To make matters worse, Bayern Munich came in for Lucas Hernandez and made him the most expensive left back of all time, signing him for £72 million. Antoine Griezmann became the next superstar to jump ship, as Barcelona came in a year after the Frenchman signed a new deal, but still had a release clause of £108 million, which was met by the Spanish giants. Although they had lost a large chunk of their core, which saw them become so successful in recent years, Los Rojo Blancos were not going to go down without a fight. They quickly acted in replacing their French talisman with Portuguese wonder kid Jao Felix for a whopping fee of £130 million. Although that fee for a 19-year-old raised some eyebrows, he had 31 goal involvements in all competitions last campaign. At the time of writing, the Madrid side have made 9 new signings, including Marcos Llorente, Mario Hermosa and Kieran Trippier, spending a total of £220 million. With the new signings' average age being 24, we believe it won't be long until Los Rojo Blancos are challenging for the league titles again. 1. Manchester City After coming to England in 2016 after a one-year hiatus from management, Pep Guardiola had a few critics who believed his style of play wouldn't work in the Premier League. The Spanish manager started his reign in Manchester with a strong transfer window where he spent £192 million on players including John Stones, Leroy Sane, Gundogan and Claudio Bravo. The season, however, didn't go quite as planned with the Blues finishing in third place, 15 points off of Chelsea and crashing out of the Champions League in the round of 16. To make matters worse, it seemed as if Pep was not able to make his new signings click with Claudio Bravo and John Stone especially struggling to live up to the Spaniards' expectations. They conceded 39 goals in the league, the most Guardiola has ever conceded as a manager. With the pressure increasing, it was clear Pep needed reinforcements for City to compete for the Premier League and Champions League, a trophy Sheikh Mansour has longed for since he took over in 2008. The Arabian owner put his money where his mouth is and made City the biggest spender in the summer of 2017, spending £220 million on six major signings. This included Kyle Walker for a record fee of £54 million, Bernardo Silva and Benjamin Mendy who both joined from French champions Monaco, and goalkeeper Edison who was bought for a world record fee at the time for £35 million. The summer transfer window was manic, seeing eight teams across Europe spending more than £100 million, including league rivals Chelsea and Manchester United. Although they were the biggest spenders, City went on to win the league title, earning the most points in history and registered more wins and scored more goals than any other Premier League side before them. They also recorded the most consecutive wins in history, making City arguably the best Premier League side of all time, money well spent by Sheikh Mansour. So that was 10 of the craziest transfer sprees we think have happened in recent years. If you think we've missed anyone out or have any suggestions, get them down in the comments below. And as always people, like and subscribe.